Nola Jet here at the Wharf in Orange Beach, Alabama, and we're visiting Yahoo with my pal the Major as we continue our day drinking adventure. So let's continue the fun in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode, we enjoy day drinking at the Wharf in Orange Beach, Alabama, as we continue our tour of drinking with a visit to Yo-Ho Ramen Tacos and the Boat Bar for a beer tasting as we enjoy drinking beer in a tropical environment. My pal the Major and I just finished doing a moonshine tasting at Kentucky Mist Distillery, so now we're ready to continue our day drinking adventure at the Wharf as we head to the nearby Yo-Ho Ramen Tacos and the Boat Bar. If you're looking for fun things to do on Gulf Shores in Orange Beach, Alabama, then the Wharf has a lot to offer. Day drinking at the Wharf is one of the fun things to do in Orange Beach, Alabama, and there are a lot more entertaining places to visit than the ones we're going to explore in this Orange Beach, Alabama vlog. So, yaho ramen tacos and the boat bar are right next to each other, as you can see. So, the boat bar is simply a long bar shaped like a boat outside. So, it's a pretty cool place to hang out. And you can see the wharf right here is a pretty large space with a lot of options that we will explore as we continue our adventures. But for this episode, we're focusing on Yaho Ramen Tacos. So they do have a great pirate theme here. And it's a really fun spot with a lot of great things none of the other bars in this complex have. So they're centrally located right next to the roundabout and you're right here in the middle of everything at the wharf. So you can see that the boat bar is in the middle of everything here and it's a pretty cool spot and it's pretty popular with a lot of people out here and they had live music playing out here as well. So this is a very comfortable space. It's a very nice little outdoor bar and you get a little bit of a roof here in addition to your covered by the building as well. So you're not gonna get rained on here most likely. Now, most of the spaces on this side have a Guy Harvey's Island grill themed chair and table uh, set up. And those are left over from a restaurant that used to be here years ago that went out of business. They do have cornhole games set up all along this back area for quite the full length of the space next to the marina. They also have a stage here right next to the water, but the bands today were over against the other wall on the long side of the boot. And here we go, getting another view of the entire area. And you can see they've got a lot of great spaces here and bicycle parking and all kinds of great areas. Now their featured cocktails here are an Alabama ginger and a ranch water. And then uh, that certainly looks like a tempting combination. Over on their side entrance here, I also saw another interesting blackboard with this offer of grab a picture of our Yoho Rum Punch and get two souvenir Bacardi tumblers. So we ran in here to see if we can grab that deal. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. So as we walk in, they've got some t-shirts here in the front and other gift items. And let's walk all the way to the front area. They've got some pool and oh, oh, oh look at there. Looks like uh, we got a little pirate over here. So army mateys, look at here. You get a little captain in you now. <laughs> So far, it definitely looks larger on the inside than I thought it would be from just looking at the outside. So they've got a lot of good space in the front. And then as I go around to the back here, they've got a wraparound bar that looks like it would be a lot of fun to enjoy. So the boat bar would probably be my first choice to hang out at, but they told me at the boat bar they didn't have the Bacardi special. That was only inside here. They do have a nice large fish tank right there at the bar, so they uh, certainly have quite a nice indoor bar here. Although I think I would still prefer the outdoor boat bar when the weather's nice. Although if you can't do that, this inside space is really beautiful. And a lot of the tables have some great designs. And it really is a pleasant space in here and definitely larger than I expected. And then we also have the back patio area. So we're gonna check out the back patio and see what we can do out there. So the hostess is taking us to our table out here. Now the patio area does not have that many seats. So we got lucky to score a space out here. So there's our patio area as we're looking back 
from the boat bar. And then we're looking at the Yahoo patio, heading back to the patio from Jenny Lane Bar and Grill, where we started our day at the wharf for lunch. And you can see all the beautiful boats here in the marina. And there's the Jenny Lane patio right there. So let's take a look at the menu now. They have a listing of margaritas and mojitos, a choice of beers, your cocktails, a section for rum and rum flights, and then a wine section, and then a tequila and tequila flight selection. We're not getting anything to eat here today, but we'll go ahead and check out the food menu. So for appetizers, they have a brisket queso, a guacamole sampler, a Mexican pizza, nachos. They have traditional or boneless wings. Then they have salads and bowls. They have a selection of tacos. Then they have plates with classic fajitas. And then a selection of surf and turf quesadilla, buttermilk fried chicken, blackened salmon, cafe marinated skirt steak, traditional burrito, and sides of guacamole, queso, pico de gallo, tortillas, Mexican rice and beans, and french fries, and desserts, Mexican chocolate cheesecake, dessert nachos, and tres leches cake. We also arrived to getting some of their specials. So they have beer specials for pints and pitchers. Then they have cocktail specials during game time. And they also have food specials during game days with jalapeno poppers, brisket tachos, Mexican pizza, Caribbean beef sliders, wings, ginger chicken wontons. We asked about the Yahoo Rum Punch with the Bacardi tumblers and they told us they were sold out of the tumblers. So ah, why didn't they take it off the sign? So we just got a pitcher of beer instead. Major is pouring a beer, getting ready for yet another enjoyable day here at the wharf in a beautiful Orange Beach. It's just, I'm just pouring. The Major is uh, neglecting to pour me a beer too though. He started pouring one for himself, uh, it's bad luck. He was supposed to get me to pour his for him. No, so. Jen, I'm, I'm only pouring a beer. Exactly. Why are you filming me? Yes, or yes. Why? It's good for you. Maybe we can actually get you uh, filming uh, some of you drinking it. Maybe we'll actually see you drink it. Okay, well... We, I what about a prost here? You don't want a prost? We can prost. All right, you ready? Here we go. Prost! Ah, this little uh, blue moon, or as we call it, New Orleans Dome Foam, because the New Orleans Superdome sells so much of it. Now, the uh, major over here has never heard that term before, so we're going to uh, educate him on how enjoyable some dome foam blue moon can be on a nice day like this. It's a nice view over here. I have to say, I haven't heard it called that dome foam. This is dome foam. So, major. You know when the last time I went to Superdome? No. Uh, probably the early 80s, so yeah, I was not familiar with dome foam. Did you watch a game there or a concert? No, it was, it was a game. It was a game. But it was uh, in the, in the mid-80s, probably early 80s. Wow. So in my defense, I, wouldn't, I, I was not looking at Dome Phone back then. But I thought you were only 21. True, true. Yeah, 21, sure, sure. Okay, Archie there Manning you. may have been the quarterback. But, you know. Very nice. How's your, how's your Dome Phone taste? Uh, dome Phone taste, okay. You know, Blue Moons. Pretty reliable beer. What do you think the Germans would say? They probably would not care for it too much. I would say. Would they say uh, nine? Well, this is about the size they were serving. They weren't serving nine months very often, so during the pandemic. So anyway, that's about all you'll get. Thanks so much to everybody at Yahoo Ramen Tacos, but y'all really need to update your sign as we went in really hoping or those Bacardi tumblers with our pitcher of Yaho rum. Otherwise, we'd have gone to the boat bar. Here's some scenes from the next episode, so make sure to tune in to see more day drinking fun with the Nola Jet and the Major. Thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it. That really would help me and I really would appreciate it. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this video. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it.
Thank you.